So I've really been looking for this fragrance for months now because it actually came out last year in 2021. I've been scouring the internet and I just haven't been able to locate it. And I happened to be on Macy's recently and I saw that it became available on Macy's.com. So I actually purchased this one and I'm ready to review it. I'm happy to finally have it in my collection. And this one by Bulgari is called Bulgari Man Terre Essence. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it. So make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin my review on Terre Essence by Bulgari, and this is the newest flanker came out last year, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's review. Now, of course, like I said, this fragrance came out last year composed by Alberto Morias, who has done many, many fragrances for the brand Bulgari. He's also done the original Acqua di Gio by Giorgio Armani, as well as many other fragrances that have been around for a very long time long time he's a very accomplished perfumer now of course prior to this one we saw the release of Bulgari Man Glacial Essence which I also own and I have purchased and I'm gonna leave a card to that video up here I've had the opportunity to review it and that one is a bit icier a bit brighter a bit more minty if you will this one is a bit warmer because it actually has Styrax in here so Styrax is a resin kind of has a vanillic overtone but very medicinal smelling if it's used in a certain concentration but there are some bright ingredients in this as well that kind of redeem the fragrance so in the opening there's a little bit of citrus in the way of citron and then there's also calamansi which is also known as philippine lime or philippine lemon it also goes by the name calamunding and it has a very unique aroma it's a hybrid fruit and it can be a little sour or bitter so i was really excited when i saw the note breakdown let's see if my excitement held through until the point when i smelled it i'm excited to talk to you about the smell let's take a quick look at the presentation So in the opening of this fragrance, you have this combination of citrus and soil. Now I know that that might not necessarily sound like the most appealing thing, but bear with me here. So there's an earthy component to it, but it doesn't smell like dirt. It just kind of has like this earthy, warm richness about it. And it adds to like that dusty texture that I get from this fragrance, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but that's kind of the same vibe that I was getting from Glacial Essence. So honestly, if I were to compare this fragrance to any other flanker within the line, yes, it does have some similarities with the original, but it's also quite similar to Glacial Essence in the sense that the base I think is rather similar. It's just that in the opening, you're gonna get a little bit more projected warmth with this one on account of that Styrax resin, but you're going to get more of like a minty vibe or a bright um, icy vibe, if you will, from Glacial Essence. So you do get that earthy soil note that's lingering in the base, but the citrus in the opening is also really unique and quirky. Now it's not a very bright citrus. And I say that perhaps because I can smell so much of the base right from that initial spray. So you have some fragrances where it's like, whoa, I'm smelling lemon or I'm smelling grapefruit or whatever. I didn't necessarily have that sensation when I tried this for the first time. So yeah, you're gonna get citrus, but I don't think it's a star player and in terms of picking up on the uniqueness of that calamansi note, I'm getting something that's a little fruity, a little citrusy, and I can also perceive a little bit of that sort of, um, you know, sour quality about it, but it's not anything that's overly pronounced, but I do quite enjoy the opening. And I think it's that fresh opening that's going to leave the average consumer feeling like, hey, this is a great smelling fragrance. Now, as you give this fragrance a chance to dry down, some of those heart notes start to come out. And according to the note breakdown, there's vetiver, there's also iris. Now, iris has the propensity of being a little bit lipstick-like, and so it can be a little starchy, a little powdery at times, and it can also smell like lipstick or like a cosmetic bag. I do get the iris from this one, but I don't think it has that kind of an effect because I think the vetiver is kind of 
contributing to that earthiness, but it's also making it a little darker. And so if you've ever tried like the original Dior Um by Christian Dior, that one has a lot of iris in it. That one really does smell like lipstick. This one, on the other hand, I get the sort of earthy, starchy quality of the iris. I truly do, especially when I think about it. There's definitely iris in here, but I think there's also enough of like this earthy vetiver in here as well. Now, vetiver can be very clean at times. You think of fragrances like, you know, Original Vetiver by Cle uh, Creed. It's very clean, squeaky clean, very soapy. That's not the effect that is happening in this fragrance because of those earthy notes. So to be honest with you, I think this is a sort of masculine, mature smelling version of some of the other flankers, if you will. I think Glacial Essence is probably a bit more uplifting. This one is a bit warmer on account of, of course, the, the resin that's in here, but also on account of the vetiver and the soil and some of those darker ingredients. Now, the original Bulgari Man is peppery, classic, masculine, sophisticated, uh, personally, my favorite flanker is Bulgari Man in Black. That one is kind of like a dark, resinous, older brother to Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. A little cinnamony and I, beautiful. I love that one so much. And we've had a few other flankers released uh, between the, you know, the uh, originals release and of course this most recent flanker. And so where this kind of ranks in terms of like my favorites from the line is probably like maybe my third or fourth favorite, right? Like at the top is Bulgari Man in Black. But um, this one I think is a decent fragrance. If you're looking for something classy, something elegant and professional, something that is a bit more on the serious side of things and something that doesn't have like this uh, suave, flirtatious personality about it, right? You can tell that there's like um, a more genial nature underneath when you smell something like Man in Black, right? Where you kind of have like that sweetness that comes tr through every now and again. In the case of this fragrance, however, I think it's very dry, very earthy, a little dusty, a little powdery. And so it kind of has that effect, um, which I think is also kind of cool. And I do think it's a close cousin to Glacial Essence, which I wasn't super crazy about if you watched my review. Um, but I do think that this one is the fragrance that I would be more inclined to wear to work, whereas Glacial Essence is the type of fragrance that will leave me feeling more refreshed, if that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I don't think it's super unique in the sense that it does smell like other Bulgari Man flankers, including Glacial Essence and a little bit of the original as well. But in terms of the overall smell, I think if you're a fan of something a little bit on the darker side, and of course, Alberto Morias has also done Gucci Guilty Absolute, which is very, very dark. And so this is like kind of going in that direction, but only like 20%. And so there are still some bright elements about it, like the Citron and the Calamansi in the opening. Longevity on this one is about seven to eight hours. So that's actually pretty good compared to a lot of designer fragrances on the market nowadays. Projection was great for the first 45 minutes or so. I don't know if it ever radiated beyond an arm's length, but it did give you a pretty generous bubble, just not anything super loud. And it started to sit closer to the skin around hour five. Versatility is pretty good. I can see myself potentially wearing this one in every season except for the summertime. Although I probably would wear a few sprays in the summer, just gotta be mindful, be a little bit more conservative with the trigger. I think this one will appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, whereas maybe Bulgari Man in Black, on account of that sweetness, will appeal to somebody who's a little bit younger. I think this one can be worn formally and casually. And in terms of the presentation, I think the presentation is actually kind of cool. I do enjoy the, the the name and you know the colors of it. It definitely um, evokes a sense of earth. And so my final verdict on this one is, I think it's a nice release from Bulgari. Uh, I know it's been a few months since it came out and so I've only recently, just this year, got around to trying it, but I'm glad I purchased it. I see it as a, a fragrance that I can see myself wearing from time to time, especially in place of the original, just because while it is a bit on the darker and warmer side of things with some earthy elements, it's still very easy to wear and it's not too dark or too aggressive where it kind of like ventures into like unwearable territory. So it's a decent release. I'm happy I picked it up. So 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What are your opinions on this one? Did you like this one? Does any, did anybody here actually purchase this one? I'm always curious to know what you think. Uh, do you agree with me that Bulgari Man in Black is... I'm not going to call it the best one because scent is subjective, but would you agree with me that that's your favorite as well? Leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for the support. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, like the video, uh, subscribe, and enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Love you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.